Hello everyone, this is Chris with Sticker Fab. Today I'm a little bit excited. So we decided to go ahead and over laminate the exterior uh, stickers that we're gonna do is starting with the grill. So not everything might be the same, but we are going to over laminate the exterior stickers on the grill because this area is subject to a lot more damage than other parts of the vehicle also it makes the sticker a little bit more rigid i was going through the installation of these and doing a wet install and then i changed it to where you would have transfer paper and push it on and then push the edges uh down but this adds more rigidity to it you can install it without transfer paper and actually it gives it a glossier look so on the left we have the old way and on the right we have the new way and i've cut it out uh meticulously and over laminated it so that's what that looks like, but I'm also excited because the design that I've been working uh, on for just a minute, the first uh, kind of design that's been massed into these uh, is this distressed uh, American flag logo. So we're going to go through the installation of this. I'll probably just do all of these up to the B and do the B with you because it will be the hardest letter right now. It is only like 66 degrees in North Fort Myers. Usually I like it to be between 70 and 80 degrees. And because it's not that warm as usual, um, go probably require a little heat on uh, the edges to get this firmly down and into position. So keep that in mind. If you guys are trying to do this in the cold, you need kind of as much heat as possible. That means Keep your vehicle uh, in the sun, especially if you're in a cold area. Make sure it's warm to the touch. Make sure the vinyl is up to temp too. Do it in a heated garage if you can. Uh, if you can't, clean it all off really thoroughly and then use a heat source like a hairdryer or a heat gun. But remember, if it burns you, it might burn the vinyl. So step it back just a little bit. That is my rule of thumb. Let me go get some stuff to install this and we'll uh, meet you back here. All right, so as you can see, I've started to take some of these uh, letters off the Area 51. I reinstalled or installed the BRO to get some photos, but then I wanted to show you, obviously the Area 51 color is kind of weird. It can look anywhere from green to a little bluish. Uh, it really depends on the amount of light and the color of the light source. So I held up the B kind of to this uh, little angle right here on the fender so you can tell it's not an exact match but it sticks out more at different angles and if it was in different light it would stick out more uh too and just a little bit less at other angles so kind of weird so we've kind of taken a blend of the colors put them right in the middle of the grill and this is the color we went with so if you choose area 51 this is what you will receive now let's go into the installation of that distressed american flag all right, so we are shooting in 4K, so let's do actually a few of these letters. Uh, I want to give you some easy, some hard ones, uh, harder, let's say. Um, don't let the alignment of the O throw you off. There is a little white strip that goes along the bottom of it because that's how the, the distressed flag was in this design. You want to press all these edges down. If they're not sticking that well, you need to apply heat. All right, so um, I did have my microfiber. I took all those off, so that kind of protected the, uh, the surface. All the other ones uh, kept it pretty clean. Uh, use a microfiber cloth. Use some quick detailer or something that doesn't have any wax in it. You don't want to leave any residue. You just want to leave this really clean. You can also use isopropyl alcohol wipes. Clean that down. Let it dry off. And then you go right into your install. You will get two sets of these, uh, mainly because I know there's a learning curve behind it. Um, you might not be familiar with installing this. This material is different than the other materials, especially because it has a rock guard uh, over laminate to it. So they're a little bit thicker. Um, what you want to do is just visually line it up. You're using basically the inside of these letters to get your alignment. Let me pull this back up. Push that down. And straight across. Pretty easy, not much to it. And then I'm kind of going in from the center and pushing outwards so I don't get any bubbles. 
then just firmly pressing around the corners, getting it all down. 60 some isn't too cold, but really 70 to 80 degrees. Um, if it's any higher than that, especially in the direct sunlight, uh, it might stretch if you're trying to install it that way. So try to keep it out of direct sunlight if you're already at the ideal temperatures. If you're like freezing cold, go ahead, park it in the sun, get a little heat on everything. But you have two sets just so you can get a feel for everything in case things aren't working your way. All right, let's sure, translate to which language. Ooh. Apple Watch gone crazy. Okay, let's do the N. The O's are definitely the easiest. Um, C is kind of weird just because it has no filler material to keep it kind of stiff. N is kind of weird because these two ends are solid, but the middle is not. So you just line these up. 90 degree angles, pretty easy. Hit our diagonal right there. Let's even this out just a little bit. Ooh, that rock guard is keeping it from stretching. Like right there, if I was in direct sunlight, probably would have had a lot of stretching. Let's try to get this closer to the edge on the left side. Want more, a little bit more coverage. Let's hit that diagonal. And from the inside, we push outwards. So I realized that this color might be a little weird because Area 51 is strange. I mean, that's probably why they call it Area 51, right? It's a little strange. Um, this would look good on your gray, your silver, your black, all those colors. So I might do another design. I probably will. That'll just be this, but in black and white. Although, I did feel very patriotic when I printed this out. Okay, so just using that center O portion to guide us here. And the way I did this design is we had the whole American flag strung across and then I estimated there to be like a one and a half inch gap here. So this would kind of be the continuation of where it would be if the American flag was here and we just displayed the B-R-O-N-C-O, the spacing uh, would kind of be correct. All right, now we are on to the last letter. The R's and the B's that have these little edges right here, you gotta push those down firmly. Definitely gotta push it down in the center as well. Basically all the edges. All right, you can't tell I'm smiling looking at this design. Center this guy up. Start in the middle, push it down, push it out to one side. Push it out to the other side. Push it down in this little groove here. Now remember, we're over laminating with rock guard material, so this is like a PPF material. And I felt like the grill letters definitely needed that being on the front of your vehicle. If I wasn't removing these, probably later on down the road, definitely apply heat. Again, missed it from the beginning of the video when I apply heat I'm not a wrap installer so I'm not trying to stretch anything really not right now at least I treat it the vinyl like I would treat my hands if I'm you know putting heat on it and my hands are burning I have to remove them uh, that's a, might be a little bit too hot you don't want to stretch the vinyl um, so just little amounts of heat apply 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 you'll get a feel for it and if you don't you have that second set to fall back on. Let's take that camera off and uh, take a look-see.
All right, so I'm not even sure, honestly, I want to subdue this and uh, just do like a black and white type design because I'm in Florida. I'm originally from Texas. So this seems wildly appropriate. Uh, also being a vet, completely appropriate. I am digging that look. All right, you guys, so thanks for so much for your support. I'm glad that all your support led me to be able to get a, a vinyl printer and start this process where we're able to do uh, more unique uh, items. Um, so yeah, completely, thanks from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for all your support. Keep the ideas flowing. Uh, if you haven't gotten a response from me via email, it's because I know you're asking for an idea. I'm trying to find the time to get around to it. So I have some unread emails in my inbox. I'm the only one that can really give you guys the go or no go on the designs because I'm the one out here uh, making them. Everyone else is just fulfilling orders. So it does take me a little bit of time to get around to those. I don't want to miss anyone. So I just want to give you your appropriate amount of time for your idea. Continue to send those. Like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already, and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we're coming out for the 2021 and 2022 full-size Ford Bronco.